For cause case, people versus Melissa Juilliard Eichenberg. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Sanders on behalf of Lauren Eichenberg. Can you state your name, please? Melissa Juilliard Eichenberg. All right, thank you. And Your Honor, we are set for a pretrial in this matter. I understand the defendant is going to be entering a plea of guilty to an added count to a retail fraud in the 33, 93-day misdemeanor, $500 fine or trouble amount. Change that plea count one, retail fraud in the second degree, the one-year misdemeanor. That is our understanding of the agreement, Your Honor. Ma'am, can you raise your right hand, please? Yeah. Do you solemnly do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? I do. You, you can put your hand down. <clears throat> Ma'am, it is this court's understanding and okay. truth. You are going to plead guilty to the charge of retail fraud in the third degree. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail, five hundred dollar fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased to three times the value of the property taken. If that's greater than $500, that would become the maximum fine. You understand that, ma'am? I do, Your Honor. And to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you will not have a trial of any kind? Correct. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right? On the date of September 23rd, 2022, at the location of 7th what did you do at the Walmart that makes you think that you're guilty? We were at self-checkout and items were not scanned and placed in the cart. All right. And you did, you skipped scan with the intention not to pay for those items. Is that correct? Correct. <clears throat> The store was open to the public at the time? Yes, it was. You didn't have anybody's permission to do that, did you? No, I did not. And these items that you took, these were items that were offered for sale by Walmart? Yes, they were. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? People are satisfied. That's my comment. Court will accept the defendant's plea to count three, count two, excuse me, count one is dismissed. Defendant is referred to probation for a pre sentence investigation and report. Sentencing in this matter will be September 25th, 2024, 1 p.m. Okay, and ma'am, I'll ask you to wait on the line. We're going to put you into a breakout room with probation intake so we can start the process, okay? Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you, Bob. Continue. And because you believe that you're indeed guilty of this offense? Yes. August 24, 2023, at the location of 7000 East Michigan Avenue, Pittsfield Township, Washtenaw County, State of Michigan, what did you do while you were at the Walmart store that makes you think that you're guilty? I went to Walmart while they were open. I put items for sale in my cart and I tried to walk out of the store with those items without paying for them. Right. You didn't have anybody's permission to do that, did you? No, Your Honor. All right. And the total amount and the items that you took, these were items that were being sold at Walmart? You probably yes. said so, but I want to make sure. Was the aggregate amount or the total amount of the items that you took in excess of $200? Yes. All right. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? The people are satisfied. Your Honor. Satisfied. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to this charge. Defendant is referred to probation for pre sentence investigation and court. Sentencing in this matter will be September 25th. Can, can, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes, I would like to say something. Okay, hold on. Let Hello? your attorney go first and then you can talk. Go ahead. Your Honor, I have not been able to oh. get into contact with Mr. Brown prior to today, so I would request an adjournment in order for that to happen, and also to ask Mr. Brown to call the public defender's office to provide a good phone number, if possible. What do you want to say, Mr. Brown? I want to talk about the night in question that I was uh, nope. arrested. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope. I'm going to stop you. Okay. 
That's why you need to get in touch with your attorneys. I don't want you saying anything that might hurt you, okay? Okay. All right. So you need to call the public defender's office. They don't have a good number for you. Okay? You got something to write with? I have her number. I have her number. Do I you? have my attorney's okay. number. Yes. Okay. Give, give it a call and make sure they've got your a good phone number for you and an email address, okay? All right. All right. I'll adjourn these to September 18. Okay. 2024, 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, fair enough. Hello. Hello. You got there you go. We got it. Okay. State your name. Karina Castello. Thank you. Your Honor, I'm asking for an adjournment. I received the store video from uh, Mr. Siller today, so I'd like to review that with my client. Very good. I'll join the matter September 18, 2024, 9 a.m. Excuse me. All right, Ms. Castillo, bond uh, continued. Thank you. Uh, can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, what, it, what is September? To, uh, because I have an autistic kid, and he has therapy three times a week. And I have another child that has therapy once a week. So I'm trying to, I have to balance out uh, and try to work. So. Uh, okay, let me, hold on, hold on. So Wednesdays don't work for you? I can try to I can try to work something out. Um I'll have okay, to we, I will have to I'll have to talk to his therapist to just uh make an early um basically to uh, tell him how to cancel on that day then. Okay, well okay, I do them on Wednesdays. Is there a better time than would mornings or afternoons work better for you? Um uh, morning because the his uh his morning is the okay afternoon. all right i'll try to make sure that we we um i let my staff know we'll try to make sure we get you set in the morning on the on the wednesday the 18th okay okay thank you you're welcome good morning good morning all right court is calling 2024 cr 2468 state of texas versus lorinda and tarango could i have parties announced for the record for the state david martin Defense. Marissa Giovenko. And are you Ms. Tarango? Yes. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery? We have, Judge. Did you review it with your client? We have, Judge. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Tarango, did you review the document entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Did you review the true bill of indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? We do, Judge. State, are you proceeding on an indictment as presented? No, Judge. We're going to proceed on the lesser included offense of assault causing bodily injury. Yes. Range of punishment is up to a $4,000 fine and up to one year in the Bear County Jail. Did you understand? Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty, sentence you up to a $4,000 fine and up to one year in the Bear County Jail. Did you understand? Yes. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. According to the plea, state is proceeding on the lesser included offense of assault bodily injury, and there is, they're recommending deferred adjudication. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Defense, is that the plea? Yes, Judge. State, is that the plea? Yes, Judge. Outside the agreement, the state is recommending that your community supervision be for one year. There be no contact with the complainant and anger management. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes. Then to the lesser included offense, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence. Well, for states, one would be attached. No objections, Judge. I have gone over it with my client. 
All right. Did you review uh, the document entitled Wavering Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding you guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? We are, Judge. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Uh, Judge, my client has no criminal history. Um, she works for the U.S. Attorney's Office, is that correct? And she's been there for 10 years. 10 years. Um, she is an upstanding citizen and she made a mistake um, with a, a Not teenager. made a choice. Absolutely. She made a choice and she understands that and is accepting responsibility for her choice. And we just ask that you follow the plea bargain judge. All right. So what happened? We were at a volleyball game and um, the child came. Um, it all started off with the coach and um, the coach's child was bullying one of the other kids. And um, I went down there to break it up. And uh, anyway, the girl called me a bad word. Mm -hmm. So my husband at that point got up, you know, we got up to leave and I was talking to one of the parents and well, they got up and they left and they came through where I was standing speaking to the other parent and I made a choice, a bad choice. Okay. All right. Because she did call me another name again. Well, I, I understand. So, so you just can't do that. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And I see the game was forfeited because a lot of parents just left. Yes. All right. And the complainant, she's not related to you at all? This is the coach's child? No, this is just another girl that played on the team. All right. Well, I don't know when people will address bullying. My mom would address it head on. All right. Well, I got in trouble for it. <laughs> yeah. And just one more thing. Um, the other concern is my client's daughter still does play volleyball. And so I, I believe there is the possibility and likelihood that they will be at the same volleyball game. Um, she understands she's not to talk to this child. She understands she's not to, you know, sit next to she's them. She's just going to have to drop her daughter off okay. and wait in the car. Okay. Sometimes these are consequences for our actions. So she'll have to drop her daughter off. And if anybody's being bullied, you know, report it. And if that doesn't do it, uh, because I'm assuming these are organized sports yes. and they have higher ups. If there's an issue with the coach who's allowing the girls to bully each other, then you need to go above his head or as they say, go above his pay grade. And sometimes when you throw the words in, well, I guess I'll have to get an attorney. That's usually when people stand up and listen. So if you put it in writing, I'm not telling you what to do, but I would put it in writing and say, this is what I witnessed. There's bullying going on. The coach is not addressing these issues. I guess after you, my next step is to contact my attorney. Then usually people pay attention. And I would also suggest that you tell them that you want to see their handbook because they should have a handbook. All the organized sports are supposed to have a handbook like the schools do what their rules are. And that way, when you send whatever letter you're going to send, you can go to a specific rule. And if they don't have a handbook, then they should. All right. All right. Do you all want to speak of length of probation? Um, again, Judge, my client is an upstanding citizen who's been a government employee for 10 years, and she's never been in trouble before. She is motivated, understands what she did was wrong. She is motivated to do anything that you ask of her, and we ask that you follow the recommendation from the state and keep, keep it at one year probation. The one year's the record. Oh, see, but defense, since you told me to keep it at one, I was leaning towards six months. We're okay with that as well, Judge. Well, you're gonna make your you gonna you're gonna make me a, you're gonna make an argument. I, I I reiterate all of my previous arguments, Judge. She will be successful, and I, I think this was a one-time mistake, and I think six months is sufficient. Okay, <laughs> that just turned on a dime. We should bring Mr. Cox in here. Mr. Cox, you want to join in the argument? State. <laughs> And, and I do have to tell you, the, ch the child I was defending was not my child. 
yeah. it was another child. No, I, I appreciate when people step up. I think we all owe a duty. It really takes a village to raise children. If you, my motto is always, if you see something, say something, not, you know, act physically, unless you have to, because there's no one else around. All right. Uh, State, I know you're asking for one year. Do you have any objection? It is a misdemeanor. She doesn't have any priors. At least that's what's being presented to me. There are underlying circumstances with why this happened. Is there any objection to the court going below your recommendation for the community supervision? Uh, oh, in, the, in the courts. All right, thank you. All right, and then of course, if you are unsuccessful or if they feel it needs to be extended, it can be extended up to uh, 14 months. You understand? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Well, actually more than 14 months. You can be extended for two years, okay? All right, this is what the court is gonna do. The court is gonna sentence you to six months deferred adjudication. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. There's to be regular random UAs. There's to be proof of employment uh, within 30 days. There should be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There should be uh, no contact with the complainant. Uh, if there are still volleyball tournaments, which I'm being told there are, you're just going to have to drop your daughter off, you understand, and wait in the parking lot. Okay. And you can always do uh, the audio books in the parking lot. There's always something to do. And Judge, she does live in Brewster County. If we can transfer to Brewster County. Where's Brewster? Alpine. Where's Alpine? <laughs> These were my questions, Judge. Have you ever heard of Solaro State University? Where's Solaro State University? <laughs> Big Ben. Big ben. Oh, okay, Big Ben. Yes. All right, awesome. So Brewster, can you spell that? I don't want to mess up. B-R-E-W-S-T-E-R. -E -E oh, it's like the women of Brewster place. Okay. Who are the women of Brewster Place? Oh my God, you should be embarrassed for saying that. Although Zach doesn't know either. So- um, Thank you, Zach. I got you. There's gonna be a transfer to Brewster County. I'm gonna order anger management. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? No. All right. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful on this probation? No. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes. All right. We can go off the record. I am not going to be the judge that is supervising your probation. Uh, of course, probation technically was supervised, but if there is an issue with your probation, you'll have to go to uh, the judge that sent this case to me to accept your plea. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, everyone, is probation going to give her conditions here or is she going back to the 227? All right, uh, who needs the report? I'll give it to her. Thank you much. All right, well, that needs to go back to the 227. Yeah. Clerks, do you all keep that? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the clerk said, the clerk said is their papers. Thank you. Guys. All right, thank you.